Let's take a look at how we can change the width and the opacity of the Ouroboros strokes. So I got a line here and I'm going to apply Ouroboros. And I'm going to add two more strokes. And then I can change the width of the stroke just as I would with any other shape layer. I could just use this slider here at the top. Or I could just open up the Ouroboros layers and start to select individual strokes to change the width. Now another way to change the width is to apply the width module. And if I apply that, you can see that it overrides the manual settings. So now this slider doesn't really affect the strokes anymore. We have a new slider that controls the overall width of all these strokes. Now you can see that if I increase the thickness here, if I remove the width, we go back to the manual settings. And then when I reapply it, then this slider is in control again. Now with this width module come a couple advanced features like the random control and maintain stroke width. So if I activate the random control, now I get a new slider that allows me to randomize each width of every stroke. And if I don't like the arrangement of this, I can always click on the random seed button to change it up. Okay, let's turn this layer off for a second and look at maintain stroke width. Let's create a new circle of 600 pixels and apply Ouroboros. Now, sometimes you want to scale the size of your original layer, or maybe the original layer is parented to another object that scales in size. And what you can see is that the stroke width changes because a stroke width that is 60 right here at 50% will be 30. Now, in order to maintain the stroke width of your Ouroboros strokes, no matter what the scale of your original layer is, you can click on this button and then that will pop the stroke width back to 60. So now when I scale the original object, the stroke width always stays 60. And you can also see that I, in this case, I didn't need to click on width first. I could just go directly to maintain width and that automatically applied and activated the width module for me. All right, let's look at opacity. So let's change this back to 100. And then just for clarity, let's change all the colors to white and then make these strokes a random width so that we can still see them. Now changing the opacity is pretty simple. You could just obviously change the opacity of the layer. Um, you can also change the individual opacity of every stroke by just searching for opacity. And now you can tweak the opacity for each individual stroke. You can also apply the opacity module and that will give you a slider uh, to change the opacity of all the strokes and you can add the random control again to get a different opacity randomly for each stroke. So it works very similar to all the other modules that have random controls. You can find the download link for Ouroboros in the description and more tutorials on this channel. Please comment with any questions that you have and I'll aim to answer them in one of the next videos. Take care.